Hello everybody, I'm Mr. Tan. So today we are doing set two uh, vision. So thanks to Ryan, okay, to his courtesy, you get to practice more question, okay, based on uh, his uh, school paper. So uh, by sharing this, okay, it really help everybody, okay, to increase their understanding in math. So uh, on top of Ryan question, I also have some question prepared also for you to do. Ten. So, uh, so thank you, Ryan, once again. Okay, do do the question also. Uh, okay, for extra uh, practice. So, let's start this. So, okay, do question one A. Calculate the sum of interior angle of a six sided polygon. Okay, I will fast forward to the solution. So if not done, it please pause. Okay, so uh, to find the sum of interior angle, first of all, you need to know the formula. The formula of the sum of interior angle right, of a polygon right, is n minus two, close bracket, um, 180 degree. So this is the formula. So in this case, just let your n be a six, and you will get the answer seven hundred and twenty. Okay, let's go on to question one b. So three of the angles of the six-sided polygon are 110 degrees each, and the other angle are x, x minus 28, and 2x plus 16. Find the largest angle. Okay, take some time to do this question. Okay, so I will show you the solution. Same, if not done, it please pause. So what going to happen is basically right, uh, you just uh add the 310, the other three angle equal to 720, you just equip them. So here is the solution. Hundred and ten times three, then plus the other three angle x s, s minus twenty eight and two s plus sixteen, equal to seven hundred and twenty. Okay, this answer is in your part A, your seven hundred twenty. Then you simplify and you solve, you should get s equal to one hundred point five. And because they ask for the largest, so largest you will use two s plus sixteen. So two times one hundred and point five plus sixteen, you should get the answer two hundred and seventeen degree.
Okay, now do this question. Share to this. Uh, the sum of the interior angle of a polygon with three x minus one side is twenty four right angle. So find x and hence the number of side of the polygon. Okay, do this question now. Okay. Okay, so now I will show you how to do this. First, 24 right angle. So 24 times 90 degree. Equal to. So you get 2160. So remember just on your formula. Uh, so sum of interior angle, right? So it's n minus 2 times um, 180 degree equal to the sum. So in this case, uh, Let's equate that to 2160 first. Then you find your n. So your n is actually uh, 2160 divided by 180. Cross. So, so for n, n is 14. And now, okay, we say that the 14, okay, is 3s minus 1. So 14 equal to 3x minus 1. So you solve for your x. And your x will be 15, 5. So your x is 5 and it's 14. And good. Okay, now we move on to this question two. So, okay, question two, solve this question, find the probability that the pointer will land on a gray region.
Okay, so you should get the answer three out of four. Then part B. Yeah, find the probability of a factor of seven. Okay, so the answer, okay, factor of seven basically only have one. Uh, so one and seven. So two out of eight. Two out of eight is in the simplest form, one out of four. Then here, okay, uh, part B. Okay, so a lucky break. Okay, uh, this is another question. Okay, part B you try to do. Uh, part B you try to do this question. Okay, so basically just equate three plus x. Okay, what is x? X is the yellow ball added over 18 plus x equals three or eight. Then you simplify it, try to solve, eventually you'll get x equals to six. No? So next, question 3a, simplify this. So I will fast forward, divide change to time. Uh, okay, maybe I, I will do, yeah. So 6x over 5wy, divide change to time, then y over 18x cubed. So here is x, so it, x cubed, x squared, divided by x. So y, y is one, three. So here, one over 15 x squared w. Okay, that's the answer. Hmm. Yeah, you put WS square also can, will be better, okay? Cool. Okay. Question 3B, full, uh, factorize fully this, do this question now.
Okay, question 3b. So basically, you take out your 5a. So you have x plus 2y. You take out your negative 2b, x plus 2y. So the common factor will be x plus 2y, 5a minus 2b. Yeah. Okay, part c, do this question. Express x in terms of y. So it's something like subject the formula. If you have not done it, please pause. If you have done it, continue. So, uh, okay. Basically, shift all the x to one side. So 2xy minus 3x equal 5. Take out the x, 2x, 2y minus 3, bring over, so 5 over 2x minus 3. Can? Yeah. Okay. Let me find a similar question. I'm sure I'm Screen. Okay, do this question. Express K in terms of J and H. Okay, I will show you how to do this. So first you square it. So h square equal to j minus k over one plus k. Then bring the whole denominator over. So h square time one plus k. So h square plus h square k. equal j minus k. Then since they ask for your k, all the k should shift to one side. So you get h square k plus k. Those that are not k, bring to the other side. So you will be j minus h square. Then take out your k. So left with h square plus one. equal to j minus h square. Then last, your k equal to j minus h square over h square plus one. And that's the answer. Done. Okay. So let's move back to this okay so question for a so that triangle abc is a right angle triangle Okay, so I'll show you the answer. So you just say by the converse of Pythagoras theorem. Right? Uh, so AC square plus AB square equals CB square. Yeah, uh, remember to show the walking also the number. Okay, next. Then, okay, 
it's a bit hard for me to hide B power and part two C answer also. So you try to do it can, yeah. So after you do the tangent, do the cosine, the angle A, B, D, uh, like that. Okay, take some time to do part B and part C. Done 20, here 20, 20. Put here 20, put here 20. Okay, so uh, okay, here is the answer. Okay, your part C answer angle ACD, right? Okay, make sure give to one DP if the answer continues. So one five one point nine. Okay. Okay, so this one. similar triangle. Okay, I will skip this similar triangle. Rather, I give you another question. Similar to that. So, similar triangle. Question seven. Share screen. Okay, take some time to do this question. Find the value of B. Okay, so I will show you how to do this question. So they want the B. To find the B first, we need to know one pair of side that's value. So we can have um, B, D, and C, D. Yeah, perfect. So B, D over C, D with the value. Then equal, they want the B. B involve A, D. So let's use AD. So AD, the order correspond to FD. Okay, let's substitute in the value. So your BD will be two plus four, six. Your CD is four. AD is B plus six. And your FD, FD is itself. So from here, I'll try to solve for B. So 6 times 6, 36. 4, bring over, multiply. 4B plus 24. Then bring over 12 equal 4B. Then B will be equal to 3. Done.
Okay, there's some time to do question seven, this question A, B, and C. Okay, eventually, okay, to find, okay, that the equation reduced to this. Okay, can I take some time to do this question? Okay, so now I go through basically just click to make sure that it's in sand. So $14 is $1,400, $13 is $1,300. Then how to form? So first it say a far cost 60 cent more. So just take the uh, far minus the far minus the notebook equals 60 cent. So once you get the equation, you simplify bring over, okay, then you expand, you get this, this here divided by 60, you will get x squared plus 15 x minus 700. Okay, take some time, okay, to do part D, solve this equation. Okay, after you solve, you should get your x equal to 20 and negative 35. And part E, take some time to calculate the cost of one notebook. So you should take your x is 20, substitute into your notebook. 1400 over 20, 70. Okay, don't use this negative because money cannot be negative in this case. So, okay. okay this is the. Uh, let me see. Uh, do I want to give her this to do as well? Okay, good. Okay, take some time to do question A. Okay. So for question A, okay, uh, here is the answer. Pi r square height equal three three nine point two nine two. When you press into calculator, so okay, why divide by six times five? You got to find the uh m b. Hmm. Okay, then you use the part of square hex, you should get your height 3.6. Okay. Okay, now I'm going to give you one question. Okay, this will be the last question. Okay, this will be the last question. Use the graph to determine the value of x when for x minus x squared equal to 3. Okay.
Okay, so now I'll go through this last question. Okay, what it means is that for x minus x squared, this is the curve itself. Okay, see, we already tell you that the y is the curve. So we just need another equation. Okay, with three. So this y equal to three. So the intersection part will be your x. So based on the graph, your x equal to one or three. That's the answer. So with that, we come to the end. Remember to uh, WhatsApp Mr. Tan your work. Okay. Or you can show to your teacher. Thank you and goodbye.